Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and welcome back to the weekly review special for week four of the Game Decathlon competition. This week I brought in 3,729 points, which is a small increase, about 130 points up from where we were a week ago of 3,596, uh, which is good considering there was a new game on the docket this week. Best round score is still almost 1,000 away, though, at 4648. Current virtual best does shrink slightly with that new title to 3911 from last week's 3946. The all-time virtual best also seeing a very small increase by 8 points from 88.95 to 89.03. Break down the titles individually, PCM 20. First up is career mode. Huge jump in score this week, so that's why we were able to go up even though there was a new title. And that huge jump was because we just finished winning the Tour de France. What? Biggest race of the year. And we managed to win it with Pavel Rodriguez, who is only a second-year rider. He's already a 79 overall, but usually it takes an 80-plus to be a true contender for the biggest race on the calendar. But we pulled it off. Fitness peak through half of the race, objective for the entirety of the race. T tactically, we played it very, very smart. We gained time when and where we needed it. Survived when and where we needed to. And ended up winning almost comfortably. It was a minute and a half, I think. In the end, over second place and many minutes over third place. In the Champion Series, we wrapped up the season, only adding one more point from a week ago, finishing with just six. It was a difficult first season for a few reasons. One, uh, very small calendar. We only had a few races anyway. Two, the team, everybody started at 50. They finished in the mid-60s, upper 60s, really, uh, so actually not all that bad uh, where they finished, but they certainly didn't start there. And there was only a couple of races late on where they got to that point where they were significantly better than they had been the season before or at the start of the season, that is. Uh, but we head into season two and they're still not going to be great, but we're going to score a lot more points. A, we're going to have a much, much busier calendar. Uh, B, we've already scored six points. <laughs> Uh, that total is divided by 10. We scored, I think it's 69 last season, or 67 last season and 69 now. It's it's one way or the other. They're within two points. We just started the new season. So that total is going to get passed next week for sure by probably a good good bit. Uh, still only you know, 15 to 20, though. We're, we're still garbage. We still have a long ways to go, but we're coming along. Uh, in the women's tour, 98 points. It's still very early in the season. Season number three, 79 was our max from last season, and that was definitely better than the season before. Uh, but the growth within the team is finally starting to come to fruition. We're now the best Continental team. We're going to be Continental Pro next season for sure, but we're still small time. So... Not huge scores, but we'll definitely see that 100 eclipsed, and it looks like we could get to 300 maybe this season. Uh, I don't know if we'll get quite that high, but 200 anyway. FM21 in the worst to first series. So this is like that champion series where we start with a one current ability and we are targeting a 200 potential ability. Our season one ended with 64 points. We are early season two. We already have 60 or mid season two. We already have 60. So we will pass that. And that's because we were able to get promoted in that first season. Season two, we're actually finding quite a bit harder. And right now we're struggling to maybe have a chance at winning the league. Uh, we need some continued development. We just finished some huge upgrades. Uh, facility jumped from a one to six. Youth facilities from a one to a six. Uh, our coaching staff has improved. And from last season to this season, we went from part-time to full-time to professional status. And so our development, our rate of development is improving. So hopefully, even though we're not doing great, we're close enough. And that as we see that improvement as the season goes on, it will hopefully translate into better results. And that we can do enough to win in season two as well. That's the goal. We might do it. In the Zero to Hero series, that's many, many seasons beyond where we're at in worst to first. Uh, we're all the way up to the fifth tier now, so we're into the top half. 
but also having a challenge, a struggle. Not It's looking like, uh, other than season one, it looks like we could be facing a non-promotion scenario for the first time since that first season. From season two onward, we've been promoted every season, either winning the league or taking second and winning the promotion playoff. We might make the promotion playoff this season, but I don't think we're going to be a favorite to win it in any way, shape, or form. Uh, 270 points, though. We continue to improve our total. But like I said, we could stagnate at this level for maybe one more year. And depending on if we lose players, it could be an additional year. Uh, But we have stalled out a a little bit, and we need a few things to to kind of happen for us to kind of get rolling again. Uh, in Gladiator Manager, that's our brand new title, just came out Thursday. So the game just came out Thursday. Uh, I got an advanced key, so I was able to record a little bit ahead of time. So I, I put the first video out right on launch. I put a second video out later that day. I put a third video out Friday, one Saturday, one Sunday. It'll start to back off a little bit. It won't be every single day, but next week I expect to have about four videos over the course of the week. It's a small title. It's independent. Eternity Games. It's his. It's a single developer with his first title. And for that, it's really good. It is a fun game. I, I'm really enjoying it. And I absolutely can see myself playing that one to the end. Hopefully the audience agrees with me and sticks with me. And that can happen. But it's a text-based tactical battle simulator of gladiators in the arena you have 1v1 2v2 3 or 4v4 you play out a season you're you're in a division against other uh, gladiator teams you have 10 teams in a division you have five divisions there's promotion relegation there's a cup system you train your your managers you put them into the battles and you handle the tactics within the battle on how, how that plays out I've done my first 12, so first third of a season, uh, first 12 matches, and have nine wins uh, in those 12 matches. The top two teams, though, are really, really tough, but the toughest team is on the verge of losing their edge. Uh, Really interesting contract system where you have four different types of background. Either you're a, a veteran champion, you are a citizen, free, got to get paid, sign on and salary, and you sign up for a year at a time on that one uh, and can be re-signed, potentially. Or the other two options are criminals or slaves. And they're a very, very different one. Criminal, you don't have to pay them. But you've got to serve their sentence. And when their sentence is done, they're gone. So if you take them on, you're kind of stuck with with them unless they get wounded really bad and then you're able to release them. And then with slaves, it's a similar scenario where you take them on. You do have to pay some money up front to purchase the slave and then you're stuck with X amount of fights that they're going to partake in. They have to win X amount of fights, generally, and then they earn their freedom great contract system really like how that works Uh, and there's a lot of unknowns there's a lot of variables that go into picking new gladiators for your team all of it adds up to a very interesting dynamic empire of sin uh this was the shock one this week 746 points only eight points higher than a week ago Uh, that was also the reason for that small change in the all-time virtual best still 10th overall four points shy of ninth place founder's fortune and it's not going to be moving up anymore. I'm done. I'm done with that game. I sensed that the end was near. Uh, others seem to be sensing that as well because A, the audience rapidly dropping off. It's down to about 20 people per video. So there's just not a lot of uh, viewership anyway. Uh, the fun factor is going away for me that there's not enough diversity in what you do in that game and with time and development they can fix a few of these things but right now their biggest flaw is the moment you go to war with somebody 
and especially if you have multiple enemies in that war, there's your crew running around taking their stuff, and then there's their crew running around taking your stuff, and you get forced into all these little mini battles, little itty bitty ones where it's two on one or two on two or three on two, where they're taking your rackets and you're taking their rackets. And you get locked into this cycle where it's just back and forth and back and forth. And there's nothing you can do about it because every few seconds, a next one starts. And then a few seconds later, the next one starts. So you can't even go directly after their crew. You can't engage them directly with your crew to try to take them out. You don't even know where they're at, so you can't pursue them. You find where they're at because they attack a specific building, and you know where that building's at, but then they're not there. And you go to try to pursue them there, and then all of a sudden they're clear on the other side of town. Three seconds later, how'd they do that? (laughs) And there's no crew around there anymore. Well, anyway, you get locked into this back and forth, and it's incredibly annoying. You can't opt out of it. You can't get out of it. You're you're stuck. Your hands are tied. And it is frustrating beyond, beyond all and to where it's enough to just, I'm done with this. So we got to the point where we get a full crew and we can go out and absolutely destroy all of our enemies. But because of that mechanic, you're effed. I mean, you're just totally screwed. And there's nothing you can do other than sit through it and then hope that they want out of the war, even though you've got 90 rackets and they've got one or two or three. You're completely dominant. And yet, no, you're you're stuck in this revolving cycle that just destroys the game for me. Absolutely. I was, I just got frustrated to the point where I said i'm done no thank you no more that's going to do it for this review special though uh on that all-time virtual best empire of sins about to get retired so we're going to have no actives in the top 10 but career mode that 529 will pass that 635 so we will have a new record this season is it going to be enough to crack the top 10 and bump empire of sin out maybe maybe not uh it won't be a high score I, i don't see us getting much higher than about 800 but we might get into that top 10 this season it'll be close have a good week everybody be safe out there see you next time bye for now